What's up guys, it's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Builder video. Today we're gonna to be talking about, in my opinion, what I think the biggest downfall to SimCity Build it is, aside from the fact that they haven't put out any new content. I'm talking about the game in itself. Let's leave the content out of it for, for the moment because they have had their times where they do put out decent buildings and stuff like that. But this, this particular thing that I'm gonna be talking about, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to. And actually, the reason that I'm doing this video is because of a comment that was left on my channel. So, and it's not the first time I've heard this. This person comes in, to me and they say, well, you know what? I quit. I'm done. This is too time consuming to make a cool city. And they're absolutely right. They really are. Um, you know, when you like the game and you play the game every day you want there to be things that keep you occupied right but no game is really supposed is meant to keep you occupied for years and years and years and years and years right it's meant to keep you occupied for maybe what six months to a year and then you kind of move on you go into another game usually some people play the same game for a really long time, but they usually play games in between. Now this game seems to have, you know, a lot more players that play for longer periods of time. And that's why it's so frustrating when they don't put out new content because a lot of people are OG players. But then you have the percentage of players who come in and they're not looking to play this game for 10 years of their life. You know what I mean? Like they just want to build a cool city. And I started to really think about that, you know, and the way I see it is this. There's two ways you play this game. You either play this game like a total noob and you have no clue what the fuck you're getting yourself into. Usually by then, you fucked up so bad that you have to restart or you have to invest a large sum of money to correct your fuck ups. Or you have to struggle for at least a year to maybe even two years to fix whatever fuck ups you made and you have to make multiple cities to be able to fix it. So, by then you're usually pretty invested. Okay, you ever watch a movie and the first time you watch it, it feels like it's four hours long because it's new and exciting. You go on a road trip and the first time you go on the road trip, on the way there, it seems like it took forever to get there. And then on the way back, it's like, psh, you're done. You're there in like the blink of an eye is what it feels like. Kind of like when you rewatch a movie for the second time, it feels like it was a half hour long because you know what to expect. When you don't know what to expect, everything seems so much longer. So for new players who don't know what to expect, they kind of get into the game and think t things take a lot longer. So when they hear they have to restart, they think about how long it took them to get to where they're at now. And they think, oh my God, that's going to take me forever. And it really doesn't. It doesn't take even 10% as long to get to where you were because you know so much more. You know how the menu works. You know what to do, what not to do, you know, things like that. So if you do have to restart and you're thinking in that mentality, just know that it is a lot, you know, better when you <laughs> do it for the second time. Okay, now the time-consuming part of this game. I agree with you. It's fucking ridiculous. It really is. And I say that as somebody who's played this game pretty much since it came out, okay? Let me explain to you, for those of you guys who don't know, shut up, Jesus, SimCity. They, like, they will not let you open the game without bombarding you for money. It just drives me crazy. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's, first of all, for those of you all who haven't seen my city, how long do you think this took me to build? Look at this. I mean... And I put a lot of fucking work into it. And this is just one of my maps. And you know how many times I've rebuilt this fucker? Uh, many, many, many times. Okay. Now, I had posted on my Facebook what my city looked like two years ago versus now. And even though it has the same general outline, it looks completely different. You know? And it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to earn up these buildings to earn up the revenue, to, and that's if you're doing everything right. It can take about, I would say, a year. If you, if you to go on my building guide and you win mega, if you win 90% of the megas and you do everything 100% right, 
you're looking at at least a year to two years before you can basically you'll be in damn good. I mean, you'll be doing damn good. You'll be sitting there on like a pile of plat keys, pile of cash. You'll have all your maxes purchased. Everything will be, you know, unlocked. But that's the best you can possibly do without hacking the game. And it still takes a long time. And the problem with that, though, is that you don't get any cool buildings besides the ones that you get in the mayor's pass, and they haven't been putting cool shit out. So... I think about, would I play the game if I was to have to restart and invest now? Why would I? You know, I have all these these cool buildings now that would just ruin the whole thing. If if all I had was farm buildings and these, you know, who knows what they're going to put out next time. It's just, ugh, it's crazy. But the time-consuming part of having to earn all of these, you know, pieces of revenue to be able to afford anything in this damn game... It's fucking ridiculous. And the cash isn't even, it's not any better. You know, having to spend real money, because most games, the way it works is, obviously there's work and time consumed to be able to make, to allow you to play the game. And it takes a lot of effort to earn in-game stuff because what they want you to do is they don't want you to, they, they want you to look at money and work. And they want you to say, why would I work for this long when I could just pay this much money and have it now? And that's kind of the gimmick for all of these mobile games. But with this game, it's even worse than that. Because the cash isn't a good deal. You know, you think about, okay, what are you going to do with this cash? Look at this for a second. This Maxis here. And (laughs) Bill Dibble Smith will never own one of these unless he pays. Because he doesn't know how to play the game. And that's the point. I'm getting at here is the the average player does not know how to play the contest of mayors unless you watch my channel. So here, if you go here, you see how you have small, medium, and large on the services. Now these, they want coin, and then this, they want 8,000 cash. The fourth one to the ninth one is 8,000 a piece. All right. Two, four, six, eight. That is four straight weeks of winning the Mega League without spending any cash on Mega. Most of the time, you have to spend three to five hundred on cash to win Mega. So you're actually looking at closer to about two months before you can buy one of these. So each one of these is about two months worth of work. is is pretty much what you can figure. Okay. Now, now you say, well, what if I just wanted to pay for it? rather than wasting two months of my life. Look at this. A hundred fucking bucks is what you have to devote. Give up. You have to give up a hundred bucks to have one Maxis. And what does this thing do? It gives you police, health, and fire in one two by two square. Is it great for design? Absolutely. Is it good because you get to buy a VU item each day? Yes. Is it worth $100 real money? Fuck no. No, it is not. Is it worth two months of your life? I guess that'll de- you know, be determined when you look at what else you really have to spend cash on in the game. Because when you really think about it, we work so hard for Sims Cash, and honestly, there's really not a lot to spend it on when you really think about it. When you look at some of these stock buildings in here, you never buy stock buildings unless it's in November when the everything's half off. But most of these stock buildings cost keys. They don't really cost cash. And the ones that cost cash, you're not going to buy that many of, you know. Sometimes, you know, like if you're somebody who really likes the entertainment category, you've got people that'll buy like a bunch of the football stadiums. I usually buy them when they're half off. Then you've got, you know, let's see, this one here. Uh, A lot of people like to buy that one, which, again, buy it when it's half off. But even so, over time, you're going to earn, you know, Sims Cash through your club chest. You're going to earn it through the Mayor's Pass. You're going to get it through gift boxes. You can get it through this earning stuff here the Sims Cash offers. So, usually what people end up spending their cash on is rares because they can't fucking find them. And they're so sick and tired of hunting global endlessly that they just spend their Sims cash on rares. 
Now, storage is like the biggest issue with this game. So, usually, there you know, you've got players, you got some players who can just camp forever. They can just do the same crap every day forever. They don't ever get bored. They like the routine. They just it, I don't know how they do it. I mean, I'm literally not even joking. I have talked to people that have been playing the same city for seven years, but never left level 24, never left level 18, never, you know, ever went up to level 30. And it's, they're not just war players either. They just don't, they just like being there. And it's like, it's that long? You don't get to experience any of the other aspects of the game. You don't get to unlock any regions. You, you know, don't get to unlock any other items you just kind of are done at that point and to me that would be boring as fuck i'm somebody who likes to unlock everything you know experience every you know crack and crevice of the game figure out like okay what's this do what's that do why is this important why is that not important do i really need this and for a lot of you guys you want to be able to do that too but you don't want to invest years of your life when you see a city like mine you pretty much have two ways of looking at it. Either it's hacked or this person invested years of their life. And that person that commented on the video this morning is absolutely correct in, in what he's saying. It, it's too ridiculously time consuming. Because here's the thing, even if you are somebody who says, well, you know what, maybe you don't expect to have all of this built. Rome wasn't built in a day kind of thing, that mentality. Here's how time consuming this game is, okay? People ask me, how many hours a day do you play, Missy? It varies, it really does. But let me tell you, when I was playing what I would call actively, when I was like really engrossed in the game the first several years I played it, when I was playing religiously, because it's a mobile game, I was able to play it in bed, right? And I would just have it on at night and because you can't be successful unless you're constantly checking on your shops, you're constantly, you know, getting your mayor's assignments done and the amount of work that goes into the contest of mayors, it's literally a full-time job. So you have some people that say, well, you know, uh, how do you finish the contest of mayors in 24 hours or 48 hours? It takes me four days. It makes absolutely full sense to me why it's taking you four days. Because here's the thing. When you take breaks, when you don't prep things properly, when you uh, sleep and eat and go to work and you open the game twice that day, it's going to take you all week. When I play the contest of mayors, my phone does not shut off in a 24-hour period. Every time I go from one assignment, I immediately move to the next and the next and the next. If I take a break, it's because I absolutely have to. And it's usually no longer than one to two hours. I get very little sleep the night before. And it's because I don't want to spend all week on it. I, w I would rather have one, you know, straight day of the contest, get this shit done and get it over with, than have to deal with this egging thing in the back of my mind going, oh my God, I only have a few days left. Oh my God. You know what I mean? and trying to keep up with people thinking that they have a chance to win. So I look at it like, all right, I'm gonna get this done in one to two days max. Then I have all week to open the game as I please, make coins, refill my shops, stuff like that. Now, when it comes to design, when it comes to the contest of mayors, when it comes to war, whatever it is, it's all extremely time consuming. I mean, it's literally a fucking full-time job to play the contest of mayors. Like, I'm not even joking, y'all. Some of these assignments are ridiculous. And if you didn't pay cash to make them easier, you would not be able to get it done. I mean, look at, the, the, look at how they want you to do it. They basically force you to spend money on cash. So if you don't win and you're spending the cash each week, where do you think that cash is going to be coming from? Your pocket. Do you know how many people pay $20, 30 $40 a week to play comm and they never win? That's ridiculous. That's why 
when you guys come to my channel as newbies and you see how much work is involved in making a good city, it's like overwhelming sometimes. Like, oh my God, this is how much work I have to put into to have a cool city. And you know what? It's hard to tell you, but yes, it is. Unless you're going to pay. And even if you are going to pay, you still have a lot of work to do with just tediously making, you know, product to make coin, to make, uh, you know, constantly launching the stupid VU tower to get keys, uh, the war cards, constantly launching war tax to get war cards from the VU pass. And even if you get them from the VU pass, dude, once you get to a certain point with the war cards, you kind of have to buy them with cash, you know, like, unless you're going to sit there for the next forever of your life. You see what I'm saying? Or you have to buy like the stupid offers. They want hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of keys for some of these top tier war tax. Hundreds of keys, hundreds of cards, hundreds. And look at what they give you in the VU pass. It's not shit. And those VU passes are, you know, several weeks long. So <laughs> what? You're just supposed to, it's supposed to take you five years to unlock shit if you play just buy the game if you don't buy it with cash or anything that's fucking ridiculous then you think about okay well what if I did just buy it with cash that's ridiculous too the prices are astronomical I mean look at the maxis they want 8,000 look at the, the war cards they want like 50 on the first one and then it goes up they want you to pay uh, 20 bucks for a flight to come in think about it you get a a London thing here right you get Tokyo. They want 20 fucking dollars. This price does not go down when the timer goes down. You're not paying for the time. You're just paying for the flight in itself. So if you have to do three Tokyo flights for the contest, that's 60 bucks cash that you just lost. Yeah. Or you have to sit there and wait forever before the plane comes back and then put off getting shit done, which is ridiculous too. So if you get this again, there's another 60 bucks. That's 120 cash that went to two 3K assignments. See what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. So when you're only winning two grand and you're spending 5, 000, or 500 at least to win, and all that work has to go into winning it, I guess you gotta ask yourself, what are your goals with this game? That is the most important thing, you guys, when it comes to this damn game, is what are your goals? What do you, What is your end game with this? What do you want to do? Because if you go into it blind, and you go into it thinking, you know what, I don't know what I want to do, uh, I'm just going to kind of play and see what happens kind of thing, you're just going to invest a lot of unnecessary time. And if you're not enjoying it, then I wouldn't bother. You know, if you don't enjoy the contest mayors, if you're not enjoying designing, if you don't enjoy war, that's what this game's, like, heart and soul is. You kind of pick one. It's either calm or war. Because if, if you don't do either, you're never going to get anywhere. Like, you've got the people who don't play calm and don't play war, but then they don't have anything. They have nothing. So what do you do? For those of you guys who don't play calm and you don't play war, what do you do? You're not earning any buildings from the mayor's pass if you're not playing the contest. You're not getting much cash unless you're paying for it. You're not getting any platinum keys because, or nothing substantial because you're not playing calm. So you've got a bunch of gold keys if you're launching your VU tower, but what are you doing? I mean, even if designing is your thing, you're not earning any cool buildings. Because you're not playing the contest. So you're just buying stock buildings with revenue you don't have? Kind of see where I'm going with this? Now, my players, usually what they do is they go on the Missy's Building Guide. They earn a shit ton of revenue. They've got thousands of platinum keys, thousands of cash, uh, millions of coins, tons of gold keys. And usually by this time, they play the contest of mayors you know, to do the pass only. They're not playing, like, super competitive. And then they spend their revenue in November. 
they get a ton of stuff. They unlock the regional maps. They work on bo boosting their population for that. And then they plan to design their maps. That That's the overall plan, but they're still technically playing calm, whether they're playing competitively or not. But still, still very time consuming. So I'm gonna show you guys here, Let's see. You guys, a lot of you guys have seen my maps, okay? But, oops, wrong button here, that one. Okay. So this person, Chronic, she's been with me about six years. Now, she did not go in the Missy's Building Guide. She's not even level 99. Her storage is not maxed. She invests quite a bit of money into the game over the years, I believe. By now, it's probably somewhere closer to about four, thirty-five hundred to four thousand dollars would be my assumption. She doesn't win Mega, and this is what she has accomplished for six to seven years of her life. That's what she has to show for. Now, this person joined my group about a year ago, year and a half tops. I'd have to go back and look at the progress report. They're already level 60. And I'm gonna show you what their map looks like. Most of Chronic's epics are a combo of silver and gold. But almost everybody on the Missy's Building Guide has all gold epics. They don't even go for silver. Okay, so this person, and I wish it wasn't nighttime. Uh, this person's city is less than two years old. And look at it. It's in way better condition. If you look at the stats, it's in way, way, way better condition. Okay. Most of my players, and I want to show you all something. I'll have to go back to my capital here. This person's city is less than six months old. Fucking Fiona. Doesn't even have my, my name on his description. What an asshole. <laughs> yeah, this person's city is... I think he's only been with me a month and a half, two months. Two months? Maybe. But all his stuff is maxed out. But see what I'm saying? We're, we're talking about a level 24 city whose city is, is barely two months old. Okay, so now this person... Why is it dark? Okay, let's look at the Missy's Guide city. This city is not even five weeks old. And look, I've got these three spaces here, these three here, one in the back, one here in the back, and two along the side. That's all I have left to unlock there. All of these are maxed out. Eventually they'll be gold epics. Got all five slot factories. Got my services, my red road set up. And that's in four weeks time. And I'm already up to almost 300 storage. And let me remind y'all, I do not have a feeder. I mean, this would be considered a feeder, I guess, but right now it's just a Missy's Guide City. Um, but the point I'm getting at is that this particular city has not had any extra help. I haven't been hunting global like I would if I if it was my city. And let me remind y'all that the last two weeks of this fucking game, all we've seen on the global market is mountain items. Okay, and I'm going to be doing a video about that to fix that problem, but <sighs> wow. Okay, so now that it's daytime, this person's actually been in my group for, I want to say almost two years. Now, he's unlocked a couple, and same with Mango, they've unlocked uh, 
couple of regions, or he's got one region here, but we're going to go look at his capital. I don't know if he's even started designing, to be honest with you guys. Okay. Yeah, he's got a little bit done. All of these are gold epics. So let me go back to Mango, because Mango's done a little bit more with his stuff. Mango actually has a really decent map. TK had a good map. Sid has a good map when he's not ripping it apart. He's a lot like me. He does something cool, and then he rips it apart. And then he does something cool, he rips it apart. But I would say that... So, okay, the first year on the Misty's Building Guide, we had a couple of players that were with us for a while. We had like Rose, Bree, TK, Sid, CPT, uh, uh, Malvin, I believe was here at that time, or he still is. Mango, I think came in at that time. But the point I'm getting at is we've had a lot of these players here for the first year. So they were able to benefit from the November sale. Uh, on the first year, they unlocked, oh, and Lala, they unlocked the regionals and they were able to buy a shit ton of regional trees, right? Now this year we have the players that weren't quite ready to unlock regionals unlocking their first batch of regionals so they can buy a bunch of trees. So I'm telling you guys right now, if you're on the building guide and you have your storage maxed out, you need to seriously consider when you're gonna unlock those regional maps because you do not wanna have to wait a whole nother year and a half so this player uh, has not had to invest like any money really into the game. Most of my Missy's Building Guide players haven't. Let me see if I can brighten this up a little bit. No, nope. okay. So he actually has a really cool looking map, I think. You know, he's got the trees here, the water. He's got some cool buildings. I, I like how he kind of did the... Uh, the stuff along the back. There's some things I would change about it, you know, just my pickiness and my OCD, like this, for example. Maybe I'll talk with him about that because you see this walkway here, how it just drops off. It doesn't round off. When you put four of the walkways, they actually round off and look good. You actually need four of them for it to look decent. Just a little kind of rule of thumb there. Now, uh, back up now that it's not like raining anymore so another thing you guys with these hot air balloons like see how he kind of hit it behind the big buildings that's something you want to do because that building sucks but the hot air balloons look good he's got like this you know town square up front i don't like the way he did the front the opera house see how it's got the water that goes around it it looks too man-made to me like water wouldn't go up against a building quite like that that's just my opinion and again remember when I said I'm super fucking picky that's just me but to build a city like this it doesn't take seven years it takes seven years if you aren't uh playing on the Missy's building guide that's just facts but if you're on the Missy's building guide and you're doing really well you can have this in the first year seriously not even joking okay he did a really good job um now that I've got my Facebook friends back here, let me see. This person was in my group the first year that I put out the building guide, which I believe was in 2020. And then he left to be in a more casual group. Um, let me see here. Let me see what his capital looks like. If I remember right, this person had designed a few things. And you guys, I'm going to be doing a more updated... Um, thing with the Missy's building guide and stuff. <clears throat> okay, so this, and again, it's fucking nighttime, but as you can see, this is a city that's been on the building, Missy's building guide for two years. The first year, he played competitive, did really well in the contest, he won a lot, and clearly, you know, designed and, and did a lot of cool stuff. Um don't know yeah so he ended up unlocking two regional maps Ben if you are watching this I haven't spoken to him in a really long time but if you are watching this you really need to consider unlocking some more regionals okay for one for the contest for two November is right around the corner 
And these regional coins are not easy to earn. They take time. You don't want to have to wait a whole nother year in order to buy, you know, your hot spots and your regional currency and things like that. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, some of these people that are in my group were not on my building guide. La la, she is. Let's go see what she's done. I don't think she's done a whole lot with her city in terms of design. I know that when she, I know she, me and her need to talk about her city actually. Because I know she wants to have a cool looking city, but it kind of seems like she just kind of gave up with designing. Which is kind of weird to me, but. Okay. So, again, all of these are Missy's Building Guide cities. All of them are under two years old. And as you can see, they all, so far, have accomplished a lot. As opposed to Chronic, who's been playing for seven years. <laughs> Eight years almost. And just hasn't accomplished a whole lot. You know, and it's not that she doesn't play the game. Because she does play. And she did play heavily for the first, I would say, five years. The last two years, she's been a more casual player. But she hasn't been able to afford to buy the things that these players can buy. Because she wasn't doing well in the contest. She didn't have her storage maxed out. So... All of that money that was spent on the contest mayors, if you're a returning player, was spent on the contest when she should have just spent it on maxing out her storage. So, I've got a lot of videos coming out for y'all. Check them out. I'm, I've got videos coming out about how to fix your screwed up city. I've got the Missy's Building Guide progress report videos coming out. Uh, I've got a video coming out about... Uh, unlocking a regional before November. So that one is a definite must. And then I've got some design videos that are going to be coming out. The Missy's Building Guide is going to be doing Mega next week. So I've got a lot of stuff coming out in the next couple of weeks. All right. Good luck to you guys. If you have any video requests, please drop them in the comment section. And I want to let you guys know if you've made it this far in the video. Thank you for one. Um, like, subscribe, comment, boost my algorithm up a little bit. I appreciate it share get my name out there on any reddit groups facebook groups whatever um but when you put a video request in the comments i do read all of my comments i don't have moderators on my channel so i see everything that goes up okay i have seen your requests for the reaction videos and i will do them i just have these videos i gotta get to first and i kind of do the reaction videos uh, when i'm ready to do them like when I'm in a certain mood so I'm not ignoring your request I will get to it I promise okay so now that it's daylight we can kind of see her her stuff here but as you can see she did put some work into her capital map um and she's got sunny cactus green and lime she just has one left to unlock she's got to hit 10 million pop I don't think she's going to hit 10 million pop by the time November comes because she's really not trying to do it. Like she's still playing the contest, but me and her do need to talk about what her plan is going to be and when she needs to do that. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to look at her layout and everything and, and all that. So I will see you guys next time.